Hi, I'm Brooke Reed with Pay Us a Talent. This is my audition for Seattle Reps production of True West and the character's Lee. She hung up? Yeah, she hung up. I knew she was going to hang up. I could hear it in her voice. Well, you're probably better off staying here with me anyway. I'll take care of you. I don't need taken care of. <laughs> Not by you, anyway. Toast is almost ready. Okay, I don't want any toast. But you gotta eat something. You can't just drink. How long have we been drinking anyway? Maybe it was Fresno. What's the area code for Fresno? How could I have lost that number? She was beautiful. Well, why don't you just forget about that, Lee? Forget about the woman. She had green eyes. You know what green eyes do to me? I know, but you're not gonna get it on with her now anyway. It's dawn already. She's in Bakersfield, for Christ's sake. Yeah. It's done? Let's have some toast. Okay, what and is it with you and the toast bullshit? You act like it's salvation or something. I don't want any toast. How many times have I got to tell you? Well, it is like salvation, sort of. I mean, the smell, I, mean, I love the smell of toast. And the sun's coming up, it makes me feel like anything's possible, you know? Mm, church, why don't you? Like a beginning, I love beginnings. Oh yeah, I've always been partial to endings myself. What if I come with you, Lee? What? What if I come with you out to the desert? <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'd just like to see what it's like. <laughs> You wouldn't last a day out there, pal. That's what you said about the toasters. You said I couldn't steal a toaster either. A toaster's got nothing to do with the desert. I could make it, Lee. I'm not that helpless. I can cook. Cook? I can. So, what, you can cook toast? I can make fires. I know how to get fresh water from condensation. It is not something you learn out of a Boy Scout handbook. Well, how do you learn it then? How are you supposed to learn it? You just learn it. That's all. You learn it, because you have to learn it, and you don't have to learn it. You could teach me. What, are you crazy or something? You went to college. You're down here rolling in bucks, floating up and down in elevators. <laughs> you want to learn to live in the desert. I do, Lee. I really do. There's nothing down here for me. There never was. When we were kids here, it was different. There was a life here then, but now I keep coming down here thinking it's the 50s or something. There's no point crying about that now. There's nothing real down here, Lee. Least of all me. Well, I can't save you from that. You can let me come with you. No dice, pal. You could let me come with you, Lee. Hey, hey, do you actually think I chose to live out in the middle of nowhere? Do you? You think it's some kind of philosophical decision I took or something? I, I, I am living out there because I can't make it here. Bitching to me about all your success. I cash it in in a second. That's the truth. I can't believe that. Let me go with you. Can you stop saying that? You're worse than a dog. You want some toast? I tell you what, little brother. I might just consider making you a little deal, a little trade. You write up this screenplay thing just like I tell you. I mean, you can use all your usual tricks and stuff, your fancy language, your artistic hocus pocus. <laughs> but you gotta write everything I say. Every move. Every time they run out of gas, they run out of gas. Every time they wanna jump on a horse, they do just that. And if they wanna stay in Texas, then by God, they stay in Texas. Finish the whole thing up for me, top to bottom, and you put my name on it. And I own all the rights. And every dime goes into my pocket. And you do that, you do all that, then I'll sure as hell take you to the desert. How's that sound? It's a deal.